Let's see this on an example. Um, this is a very classical example. So in, in many resources, you will be, you will see either this example, well, without, without the same numbers, but the same context, or maybe a, a very similar one. Um, this is the simple weather model. And uh, we will represent the weather with three states, sunny, cloudy, and rain. And we will assume, well, the, this takes one value within one day. So this will be a discrete time process. Again, for simplicity, we will assume the weather on a day depends only on the previous day. Okay, so that is essentially the Markov property. Of course, this is not reality, but we are making assumptions here. Um, and here, well, the, these are based on some scenario. Um, they are not really that important in, in the numerical sense. Uh, what is important is, of course, each of these three should form distributions. Okay, if yesterday were sunny, then the probability that it's sunny today is 70%, cloudy today is 20%, and rainy today is 10%. Similarly, if yesterday were cloudy, this is the distribution, 30% sunny, 40% cloudy, 30% rainy. And finally, if it were rainy, then 10% sunny, 40% cloudy, 50% rainy today. Okay. Now, this, this set of probabilities, these nine, are one-step transition probabilities. So in fact, I can express this using either a state transition diagram on the left-hand side or a state transition matrix, okay? Um, if, if you remember, this is, this is sunny and number two, this is cloudy and this is rainy, okay? So the probabilities are provided to us. If it is sunny, it stays sunny the next day with 70% probability. It becomes rainy with 10% probability and it becomes cloudy with 20% probability and so on, okay? So every arrow uh, going out of any state, if you add them up, you should uh, have one because those are probabilities, okay? You see, each row constitutes a distribution here. This is a stochastic matrix. And this is the one-step transition probability matrix. So, for instance, if you would like to compute the probability that it is sunny two days later, if today is rainy, what you need to do is compute the two-step transition probability, which is equal to just square of the one-step transition probability matrix, which is given here, okay? And since you know today is rainy, you are interested in this row only because this, these are the probabilities that um, I will be in a state sunny um, after two units of time given the state is rainy because this is rainy row, okay? And this is the probability that the, the weather will be cloudy after two days, given it's rainy today. And similarly, this is the probability that um, it will be uh, rainy two days later, given today is also rainy, okay? And the probability asked is the probability that it is sunny two days later if today is rainy. So this is two-step transition from rainy to sunny, okay? From st state number three to state number one in two units of time. So that is equal to 0 0.24. Alternatively, you can express this as this probability. And well, you, you can derive this distribution by pi zero times p to the power two. And pi zero here, if you know today is rainy, this will be equal to zero, zero, one. You know that you start from rainy. So the probability that the initial state is sunny is zero, zero. The initial state is cloudy is zero. 
and the probability that the initial state is raining is one because that information is given to you. Okay, if you do this, well, this will be a row vector, which is exactly this. Okay. A similar question is, if today is cloudy, meaning state is two, what is the weather probability distribution a week from today? So now this here um, will be pi zero times p to the power seven, where this is zero one zero, because I'm given that the initial state is cloudy. Alternatively, this means, well, you can also see that, that from this vector, compute p to the power seven and take second row, just this one, okay? Because this is the row of cloudy. From cloudy, after seven transitions, what is the probability that you will end up in each of the states, okay? So 0 0.4072 is the probability that after a week's time, I will transit from cloudy to sunny. With 0 0.3189 probability, I will transit from cloudy to cloudy again in seven days. And finally, with probability 0 0.2739, I will transit from cloudy to rainy within seven transitions. Okay, so these we call transient distributions because they depend on time. And another major point we have to make here is that clearly transient distributions depend on initial distributions, okay? Since they are time dependent, that makes sense. Now, um, a lot of um, different scenarios can be investigated here, for instance, if today is cloudy, what is the weather the probability distribution a week from today? Now, uh, th this is the same question. Uh, it just emphasizes that you can also use this approach. Pi seven can be computed from pi zero, where uh, since you know it's cloudy today, uh, it's zero one zero times p to seven because you make seven transitions. But the question is, what if you do not know the initial state? Okay, what if you do not know it is cloudy today? Okay, so, well, if you are in this situation, you would know, but there are a lot of scenarios where you might not know the initial distribution. Okay, so in that case, the probability distribution in the initial state zero, which we call the initial distribution, is going to appear here. So pi m, the transient distribution after M transitions is equal to the initial distribution times M step transition probability matrix. So suppose that the initial distribution is this, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So that is the probability that um, let's say today, doesn't really matter, let's say today, um, it will be with 50% sunny, 20% cloudy, and 30% rain. If this is given, what is the weather probability distribution two days later? Okay, this could be another forecast. For instance, this may not be today. Maybe this is tomorrow and you haven't observed it yet, but you guessed that it will be 50% sunny, 20% cloudy, etc. In that case, you can guess two days after tomorrow based on this relationship. So pi zero times p square, and uh, the result is this, okay? But for instance, if you change the initial distribution, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, then if you solve for the same question, what is the weather distribution two days later, you see the result is this. These are different, clearly, because the initial distribution affects the transient distribution as expected.